So here I have three or four 460 volt three phase motors to replace. I don't exactly remember how many, but it was a few. I want to start by looking in the terminal box and see if the wires are labeled at all. These are numbered, so make note of which one goes where. I start by disconnecting ground first. Using needle nose or clients helps to remove the leads. They should be on there tight enough to make it hard to pull with your fingers. Next step is to loosen the female seal tight nut from the seal tight connector and to pull the black rubber seal out. Now you can loosen the seal tight fitting and the wire should stay stationary as the fitting rotates around it. You'll need to straighten the leads out and pull them through individually to allow them out. Cut the tie strap. Use your half inch wrench or deep socket to loosen the belly band bracket. Having both is actually what you want because you'll need a backup anyways. You don't remove it completely. Just need to loosen the band to lift the motor out. And then set your motor to the side. Open up your new one. I like to put it right next to the where I'm working and then I take this little electrical cover off. All you gotta do is loosen the screws and you might need a flat head, but just loosening it, uh, it should slip off. And you feed your wires in there one at a time. Straighten them out a little bit, helps get them in. Get it tight. And then I like to start by replacing the ground or installing the ground first. And then I do my phase wires one at a time individually, hopefully in the same orientation that they came off. cover back on, tighten them down, and then you want to put this little rubber seal and the little blue seal that comes out of that seal tight, and then you've got this ground that just uh, anchors to the, to the bracket arm. And tighten up your belly band, and I like to get a few good turns on it after I get it pretty much tight with the backup. Now you're ready to set on your blade. Be careful, these blades will cut you. They cut the hell out of me quite a few times. Wearing gloves is what is, is the best thing to do. It's, it's smart. Don't be stupid. You got your set screw. You wanna make sure that the blade is positioned on the shaft at the right height. That way it cuts and scoops the air properly through the fan shroud and you don't have turbulence because turbulence sucks and always rotate a little bit you can take a gander from a horizontal position like that and see put your guard on i had to do it while holding the phone so that's why the footage is kind of sketchy like this only have two hands not three you know you line up these these nut posts bolts and that's, that's it. So the rest of the video is pretty much going to show you how I do that on a different motor. I put the cardboard down to protect that microchannel coil because I, I dropped a socket in there and it damn near popped the leak. It's ridiculous. So that's why I started using the cardboard, which I thought was kind of sparky of me. Use what you got when you can. I think it takes me about 15 minutes to do it. So, enjoy watching me change out a motor in real time. And stay tuned to the end of the video to see a little clip showing what I describe as the socket falling off of my ratchet, landing on the coil and almost destroying the coil.
yes power is disconnected don't forget to shut power off
Okay, now I got my three motors mounted. It's time to start them up and check rotation. But I'm not gonna do that on this video. This was just a, a silent video of work. Hope you liked it. All right, so this is uh, Gordon Foods, Brazewood, nighttime, changing up three motors. And my socket dropped and made that. I don't know if it's gonna leak or not, but if it does, it was just a straight up accident. My socket came right off. I was coming up off of the thing right here, holding the, the ratchet and the socket dropped right in there. 